Currently in my house we have one television. I have two TVs. One, two. I own one television in my house, although I have lived in a house with three televisions before. I own three televisions. I own about seven. <laughs> in this unit we're looking at television. Love it or hate it, TV plays a very large part in many people's lives nowadays and everyone's a critic. But do we really know as much about what goes into making a TV programme as we think we do? Now, who comes up with the ideas for TV programmes? Well, you have um, development departments in most TV production companies and those people will sit around and they will brainstorm ideas and it's usually ideas that are related to what's been in the press recently um, or otherwise sometimes uh, people at the channel who are the people who commission the programmes to be made will say we want something specifically about say people learning to drive. Is there such a thing as a fresh idea in TV these days? It's very, it's very difficult. So many ideas are pitched every single day by every independent production company to each TV channel, most of which are turned down and occasionally some are accepted and they go on to be programmes. Um, so it's kind of, it's throwing a lot of things at them and seeing what sticks, as they say. So do you think that ideas are often recycled in programme making? Absolutely. Recycling programmes is one of the best ways of, of doing things really in terms of scheduling because it's a guaranteed way of getting viewers. If viewers recognise, say, the name of a programme that they've seen before that's been brought back or if they recognise a format that they've seen before, certainly fam family orientated programmes, um, that's definitely the case. It's kind of almost a guaranteed way of getting lots of people to watch it. 